There are a variety of hip conditions that cause pain, and hip pain can be anywhere from in the groin to the buttock to the outside part of the hip, and each site of pain typically indicates a different problem. One of the more common things that I've seen is a functional limit in motion in the hip, so sort of contractures. So people will have a lack of internal rotation of the hip and or external rotation of the hip. And what happens with that is not only will they have sort of a deep aching hip pain, but it actually affects how the leg itself works. So it affects how the femur rotates and then how the tibia or shin bone rotates. And a lot of people will actually come in and present with a knee or ankle problems, but the source of the problem is the hip. And if you don't remember to examine the hip, then you're gonna miss it. Uh, so we try to do a very thorough physical exam here not to miss that. When we do find contractures of the hip joint, our number one treatment is physical therapy or chiropractic care for that to stretch it out. And actually one of the best things you can do for hip motion is yoga. We try to encourage people to join yoga as much as they can. Um, but barring that, or at least leading up to that, you have to start with physical therapy. We do hip injections here, ranging from steroid to tordol to hyaluronic acid, which is actually a anti-inflammatory, highly viscous gel that's nutrition for cartilage that we can actually put into the hip joint itself. Uh, we use an ultrasound guided technique, so it can actually be done in this clinic. We don't have to go to a surgical suite for that. And we can actually target and guide it into the hip joint itself, and that's extremely effective. Platelet-rich plasma is another great injection treatment for hip, particularly arthritic hips. Uh, because it's your body's own proteins and substances that promote healing and cartilage regeneration. Short of the injections and physical therapy, there are other treatments for hip problems, such as surgery, of course. You can have arthroscopic surgery to recontour the hip if you have bony prominences or spurs and spikes of bone. And of course, you can always get a hip replacement if your arthritis is bad enough. But generally speaking, most hip pain and most hip problems are from muscular imbalance, tightness, uh, contractures and then sometimes tearing of what's called the labrum which is a cushion around the socket part of the ball and socket joint and all of that can generally speaking be treated conservatively with therapy bracing or the regenerative medicine techniques like hyaluronic acid the stem cells and the PRP injections